information about a man who drowned after having a heart attack in Jack's Beach. That man was a father who went to the beach with his little boys. Action News Jack's Megan Moriarty spoke with a mother who was a witness and tried to help. You could just hear him screaming help. It was just, I mean, just sad. Katrina Simmons says yesterday evening was life changing for her and her family after she saw a man get swept away by the rip currents in Jacksonville Beach. She says she called 911 while a group of surfers headed into the water to help. I guess they were trying to put him on the surfboard to get him to safety because by the time they brought him, his body was just limp. Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue crews got there as soon as they were pulling up to shore and gave the 27 year old CPR. Simmons says she stood there comforting his little boys. As he kept crying, saying, I wish we would have never came. This was the worst day ever. Rescue crews say the man went into cardiac arrest while in the water and later died at the hospital. It's very painful for the family, for the mom, for the children. Lifeguards say that yesterday's water conditions were dangerous and that they had red flags all along the shoreline. Now, today it is a little bit calmer, but they are saying don't go too far out into the ocean. And if you're not an experienced swimmer, you should check in with the lifeguard before heading into the water. This weekend, Jacksonville Beach crews responded to two rescues, including yesterday's. They say this season the amount of drownings have been decreasing, but that this last week rip currents and water conditions have been rough. They're asking people to be cautious and look out for one another. Stay close to the shore. I mean, because he probably was a good swimmer, but it probably caught him off guard or he panicked. Reporting in Jacksonville Beach, Megan Moriarty, CBS 47, Action News Jack.